Not so fast. Let's go through this one step by step. Welcome to Unifier TV, where truth has no fear. So we're covering a story out of Ryland, North Carolina, where Daryl Tyree Williams lost his life for what they say was at the hands of a few police officers out there while he was being tased. Now the story says that apparently he gave them enough of a warning to let them know that, look, hey, look, I have heart problems. I don't think it's as simple as the police did something wrong and it's time to chastise the police because if his heart problem was that serious, why was he resisting arrest? Let's see if you agree with me on this. Now, of course, I won't be able to run through the entire video. It's nine minutes long, but I will post a link to the video in the description if you want to check out the whole thing. We're just going to jump to what I believe are the key parts of this whole thing. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey. How's it going? Pretty what are y'all doing? Nothing. I'm walking to my house. Huh? I'm walking over here to my granddad. Okay. Just do me a favor. Come over here. First of all, if an officer asks you what you're doing, and you say you're walking, but you're sitting in the car, you, you're already starting off bad in the first place. So, I mean, to me, that's already a red flag. You said you're walking to your house. You're sitting in the car in the middle of the night. But look where they'll park, though. Have a seat, both of you. What? Have a seat. For what? Have a seat. For what? Follow wrong. Have a seat. What do we stop? Why? Have a seat. For what? Now, if you realize, if you pay attention to what's in the back here. Have a seat. This place says for rent. This place is empty. So you're parked in front of an empty building. So we don't know who called. We don't know if a neighbor called. Maybe they were just doing their, their patrolling. They observed the car sitting there in an odd place. So, we don't know. Have a seat. 1037 vehicle, 808 Rock 4. We're not doing nothing, though. All right, that's fine. Face the car. Okay. Yes. You grab the other one again. Can you ask me? What's going on? Walk over here. What's going on? Put both hands on the car. Okay. Don't move, okay? Okay. You understand? Keep both of your hands on the car. If you don't, if you can't listen to my instructions, I'm going to put you in handcuffs. Okay. I'm not trying to put you in handcuffs. Okay, so there you go right there. To me, it, it, could, it could have already gone differently, especially according to what they say the standard is for how white officers deal with black men. So already, he's already not listening. He can't even keep his hands on the hood of the car. So if you follow instructions, do what you're told, if you're innocent, all that's going to pan out in a few minutes. Okay. So I'm guessing that was white residue powder, whatever. So there's an immediate struggle going on. An immediate struggle. And as you can see now, I'm counting at least the three officers holding him, plus the officer who was initially trying to search him and put his hands behind his back. So already we got four officers trying to deal with this big man. Now check out the angles here. This is not my camera. This is an angle from, I guess, the front of what looks like a convenience store, smoke shop, whatever it is. You're going to see the major image here, but then on, in this area, you're going to see uh, a very significant piece of what's about to happen here. So he's being tased, he's on the ground, but pay hey, real close attention to this part right here. So if you pay attention, he just broke away from three or four officers, and he's running right now. I'm going to tase you again. Now pay attention to his body language. He's still not complying. He's been tased twice. He's being threatened to be tased again. But if he has heart issues, do what you're told. If you have heart issues, why are you in there drinking and smoking and you got dope wrapped up in a dollar bill or residue, whatever they found? If you have heart problems, 
it don't seem to be a real concern because you're doing what you're doing right here. Look at this. More resistance. Look at this body language right here. Just do what you're told. Put your hand behind your back. Hold on. Put your hands behind your back, Bo. Right now. You're going to get tased again. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Now, he did say he has heart problems. But at this point, after going through all this, I mean, how many officers are really going to take heed to that? Because to me, you just now mentioning that sounds to me like you just want us to let up on you, go easy on you. Why? So you can take off running? So you can reach for something that we have to take more drastic measures? It's too late. You've already put up a strong resistance. They're going to ensure that you are in cuffs at the end of this situation. They're not going to just go easy on you because you have heart problems. If that was the real case, you should have said it from the very beginning. You should have complied. So nobody's trying to hear that right now. Yep, but go help him get the other hand. Get the right hand with him. Get your right hand with him. Go. Come on. Come on. All right, so this is uh, about almost five minutes in. But we have four, four more left. I'm going to jump ahead just a little bit and see what happens. So now they put him on his side, which is a good, safe way to go. Bring your knees up to your chest. Bring your knees up to your chest. We need someone to check me for probes. Check you up. So he's still alive. Okay. Uh, right now he's still breathing at this point. Hasn't been requested already. EMS, 35 year old black male, conscious breathing. He's got some facial injuries. Is he breathing? I don't feel pulse. I don't feel pulse. Get him out. Send him out. Hey, come on, Bo. Wake up. Hey. He's up. Yeah, he's still up. He's good. Okay. They realized he didn't have a pulse. They did what they could. They found a pulse. I'm not sure if EMS has arrived yet, but you clearly saw in the corner that they did call EMS to come out. I'm not sure if they're there yet, though. Hey, Bo. Hey, Bo, wake up. So clearly, EMS is not there. They're trying to do what they can, trying to revive him. It's just not going well. Yeah, we got one. Oh. Yeah. He's, you can feel he, he's tensed up. He's breathing. He's All right. Yeah, Let's see. Get, yeah. He's good. Let's get these probes out of him. Shallow breathing. So his breathing is slowed down hey, maybe at this point. Is there a better position for his head? Uh, yeah. well, no, you just I don't, we don't want to sit him up if he's right. unconscious, though. This is probably the best yeah. position. This, yeah, just keep holding his head up. You can put your foot under his head for a little support. Okay, so clearly they're trying to do what they can to either revive him, get him in a better position so he's breathing better. Uh, so maybe the officer was right. If he's unconscious, you don't want to sit him up because what if he falls? He could hit his head, cause more damage. So they're at least trying to prop his head up on the foot. The one officer is already holding his head. So to me, it looks like the proper protocol calls have been followed since the very beginning of the situation. So, so far, from what we understand from the story, all officers have been placed on administrative leave pending the investigation. That's protocol. You're going to see how this thing plays out. In my opinion, I didn't see anything done wrong. Now, they claim the video was edited. I don't know what part of this video could have been chopped out, which could have made them more liable for what happened. But from what, from what we were able to see and from what the family was able to see, personally, I don't see anything, in my opinion, that was done wrong. Maybe I need a better expert on this, like Brandon Tatum, Officer Tatum, if you see this. Oh, I'm looking forward to a breakdown from you. But in my opinion, I don't see anything that was done wrong. If this man really had heart problems, then he should have done what he was supposed to do from the beginning. Look, I'm looking at the fault of all this being on Mr. Williams.